This video poster presents a book about Austral Asian tectites, it contains 42 chapters, as well as a dictionary and a reference list. After watching each video poster, you can download relevant chapters for detailed readings using the link in the description below. In the Ban the Chong gravel pit, there are large lumps of pure sulfur on the surface. Even embedded in the comminuted quartz accretions, sulfur is found, and in the large lumps, mixed with quartz and carbonized wood pieces. Iron accretions are also plenty, with a very mixed composition, consisting of a fine-grained matrix of comminuted quartz, iron and manganese, mixed with larger quartz grains and carbonized wood. Larger iron drops show two distinct impact features. One shows Newman lamelli at the bottom and rosettes on the top. Another show donut shape on the top, after oscillation. Both iron drops probably impacted the iron accretion in a viscous stage, enabling these structures to evolve. A micrograph of a larger quartz grain, surrounded by comminuted quartz. Spectrum of a piece of iron accretion, revealing the fine-grained matrix composition of silica, manganese and iron. A piece of carbonized wood to the right. The Korat Plateau sandstones contain manganese and iron, often as ferrocrete and manganocrete, providing the parent material to form the iron accretions, mixed with comminuted quartz and carbonized wood. Another iron accretion shows similar interior, but with larger quartz grains attached to the surface, by bombardment or by landing pickup. Larger assemblies of comminuted quartz, with carbonized wood pieces, in the interior. Micrographs of a piece of carbonized wood, and the fine-grained matrix with larger quartz grains, the temperature at which the accretions were created could be as low as 1,300 degrees Celsius. However the presence of oxides, instead of pure metals, may have required somewhat higher temperatures. <laughs> 